Hey, what's up guys? Parabola here with another five minute farm coming at you. Today we're going to be farming Battalia Downs right outside Upper Juno. This is a great spot to farm for uh, Tiger Fangs, Tiger Hides, and um, it's decent money. Tiger Fangs are selling for about 10k a pop right now. Tiger Hides sitting at about 6k. There's also this fun little NM over here called Tottering Toby. That's the position that we're at, by the way. We're going to be starting with killing that one tiger right there. This farm's going to kind of roll around like a loop, kind of like the previous one I showed you guys. Now this one's strictly for farming tigers, so we're going to start there. There's also the NM that I mentioned, and this is the placeholder for it. It's number 99. So if you want to get yourself maybe an extra 10, 20k gill from the Stumbling Sandals, if you just ever happen to find a buyer for them, this is definitely uh, where they spawn. Tottering Toby spawns off of that dude. He's rarely ever camped because the sandals are pretty garbage. We got one tiger, the sapling. Here comes the second tiger right here that we're going to want to get to. Now you're going to see we're going to end up right back where we started. Another little loop farm for you guys. Don't forget to steal from the tigers. Get yourself some of that land crab meat. Don't ask me how they have crab meat, but they do. So we've killed two tigers so far. We're going to run down from the hill after we kill that one. Now usually there's going to be a tiger either up on that hill that you see right there. There's one. Or there's going to be sometimes one down here. So if you don't see the one on the hill, he's more than likely down there. We're going to skip this one for right now, just for uh, video length purposes. By the way guys, I stream every day on Twitch. You guys can check me live over there farming, crafting, doing endgame events on uh, Parabola underscore TV. Twitch.tv slash Parabola underscore TV. Come say what's up. Here's another tiger though. So after you kill that, those uh, one, two, three over here, we got four. Right up on the hill is five. Let's take uh, make quick work of this homeboy right here. Come here, dude. Where are you going? No, 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 now I recommend this farming area anywhere from 45 and up. These tigers, uh, they're a little um, weaker than the ones over in Butacene Glacier. But they're not a pushover either if you're a lower level. So this one's right here, level 30. Normally after doing those two, you'd come over here and kill this one. You used to be able to pull the one up here, but... Thanks to the LOS update, that's no longer a possibility, it seems. Once you kill that dude right there... Go ahead and pop your flea if you're using thief or thief sub and you're going to flee all the way down this hill. Now don't miss the one over here. Sometimes there's a tiger right here. There he is. Hey, what's up buddy? You can kill that dude on the way if you like. There used to be... Oh, there is. There not used to be. There's one up here. He's tricky to get though. Yeah. The LOS update's not letting you grab those tigers from the thing anymore, unfortunately. Rip. Well, minus two. But there's usually another one right up here by these trees. Sometimes there's not. If he's not up there, he's usually right over here, actually. Let's see where he's at. Where are you at, bro? Don't don't make me look like a fool in the video. Where where is he? Hmm. Well, sometimes they spawn one or two places there. Uh every now and then the placeholders will be taken up by hellhounds when it's closer to nighttime. So after you finish with those tigers right there at the end, you're just going to want to come right back down here and you're going to head straight down this path. Now I took a little bit of a shortcut because we did skip a couple of the tigers just for video length purposes, but this puts you right over here where we began, where you killed Tiger 1 and Totoring Toby's uh, placeholder. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. This is an easy loop if you don't want to leave uh, Juno or to go too far from Juno, should I say. And you can farm this. It's usually not taken up. Make a good... I don't know. 30 to 60k an hour. Because we're really just farming tiger fangs and um, tiger hides. 
and the land crab meat. But yeah, check this farm out, you guys. Something to do, somewhere to farm. Especially good if you're uh, leveling bone crafting or you're just looking for somewhere low level to farm that's not too far away from the, the town. Because you can kind of just run back to Juno from here and kill all the tigers on the way back. But hey guys, thank you for checking out the video. I hope you liked it. Consider subscribing to the, uh, check out some more of the videos I have and come say what's up to me on Twitch. I'm live almost every day. Twitch.tv slash parabola underscore TV. I hope this uh, helped you guys out a little bit in your farming adventures and making go. And I'll catch you later. Peace out, everybody. Have a good day in uh, Vanadio.